executive council dissolved. Igbo sent secret message from detention. Sule sacks commissioners, political aides. Nasarawa Governor Abdullah Sule has dissolved the state council. Sule announced that these are, are the government's house lafia after an expanded meeting of the executive, which includes commissioner, special advisors, and senior special assistants. The governor thanked the commissioners and the aides for their sacrifices and contributions to the successes of his administration so far and wish them well in their future endeavors. Igbo sends message from detention, identifies what his dream Yoruba nation will copy from Benin Republic. Yoruba activist Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igbo, has said that the secession of the Yoruba nation he has been agitating for will soon be achieved. Igbo stated this in a message sent to Sahara reporters via a spokesperson. Oluyomi Koiki. Koiki said the activists asked him to thank major Yoruba leaders in the country who had shown one support or the other towards activists in detention in Benin Republic. Igbo was also said to have extended his obsession to the Oni of Ife, Oba Enito, Ogungosi, Oshile of Okeona, Egbanland, Oba Adedepo, Adewali Teju Osho, Olugbo of Orile Igbo, Oba Francis Alao, Nobel Laureate, Professor Wole Shoinka, President of Benin Republic, Patrick Stallone, and the country's Minister of Justice. He was quoted as saying that the West African country where he's been held or stayed enjoys steady electricity supply, hoping that the same will apply to the separate Yoruba nation, which will soon be actualized. He said, I am Ola Yomi Koike, the spokesman of Chief Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Igbo. Our father, Chief Sunday Igbo, Extend his greetings to all the Oba indigenous all over the world. He also asked me to send my greetings to the king, Odin of Ife. He said I should really appreciate you for the support. He said he can see how you are supporting him because his wife is delivering the messages. He said I should also thank the Oba Teddy Osho who has arrived in Benin Republic. Though they haven't seen each other, he also said I should thank our father. Olubon. Igbo also asked me to extend my greetings to Wale Shunika. He said I should also thank President Talon of the Benin Republic. He said I should thank the Minister of Justice in Benin Republic because despite what's happening, the security of Igbo's wife is guaranteed. He said we should take a look at Benin Republic and join steady electricity. That's what we desire in the Yoruba nation. We have been agitated for and we will get there very soon. Sunday Igbo was arrested alongside his wife in Kotonou, Benin Republic. My security operatives in the West African country on July 19 after fleeing Nigeria to evade arrest by Nigerian secret police. The Department of Service, State Services, DSS, has declared Sunday Igbo wanted after it operative carried out a bodily midnight raid on his residence in Soka area of Ibadan, Oyo State. DSS of Public Operation Officer Bida Afunyana had advised Igbo to turn himself in. Those trying and eulogizing him may appeal or advise him to do the needful. Afunyana said he should surrender himself to the appropriate authorities. He or anyone can never be above the law. Igbo was later arrested in Benin Republic while trying to flee to Germany with his wife. However, Igbo's wife has since been released from police custody while Igbo remains in detention in the West African country. Hmm. Guys, we have heard the news headline of today. Sule Sachs commissioners and other political aides and thanks them for their sacrifices and contributions to the success of the administration so far and he also wish them well in their future life 
and also Sonny Igbo sends greetings to some others and also Wally Shonika and also the President of Benin Republic and also the Prince Justice in Benin Republic for supporting him towards the agita- towards the support of the Yoruba nation and it says that Yoruba nation will be a dream place for all Yorubas and all people who feel like coming to Yoruba, Yoruba land because of the steady electricity lights in Benin Republic that is going to implement this in Benin Republic that Benin Republic is going to have that I'm sorry so that um Yoruba nation is going to have steady electricity lights just as Benin Republic and some of the things that is there that Benin Republic is even more better than our country Nigeria that in Nigeria we don't enjoy steady lights even Ghana that we even sent away from our country and now enjoying more electricity than us here in Nigeria can you see that it is the cause of our leader our leader doesn't want to help anything towards helping this country that is why our country is always failing in things we want to do I hope all these things that the Igbo and the Yoruba has been praying for it comes to it comes to reality because of if the northerners keep on being the president they will only focus on the northern states only they will not focus on other ethnic groups and other states because of they only support where they come from and that is really really bad of them to do you can't only you are a president of a country you can't only support one side of a country you have to support all every side so that our country can be unified and even all these things is not happening and even Buhari is supporting all countries and helping everybody in the country people will not be begging for separation people will want Nigeria to be unified but because of the stinginess and the selfishness of Buhari that's why things like this is happening in the country and I hope as all this thing is going on we shall not lose our life because of Nigeria People are dying like ants. People are dying like cockroach. They do not care about anybody's life. Hmm. And I pray the wrath of God does not pour on us here in Nigeria. So guys, let me see what some people even said about this thing that is going on in our country. Someone said, it's like Juju is not working again. Otherwise, how could he remain incarcerated until now? Koiki and Konga should arrange fresh funds for him. Hmm. And someone said, not everything requires you do, and education is not by going to school. Every freedom fighter must go through one challenge or the other. It's true. Every freedom fighter must go through one challenge. Even though if you are in a university, even though you are trying to be somebody in life, you are trying to be successful, or trying to allow something to happen or something to come to pass, you have to go through one challenge. You have to help yourself. You have to be consistent. So, and I hope all our wishes are granted to you in the future. Amen. Okay, guys, that's the news. Kind of like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And we will see you on the next news. Goodbye.